Suppose I'm on a pogo stick and I'm about to land on the ground. I slow down as I, as I move into the ground because I could say that the pogo stick is exerting a force upward on me against the direction of my motion, which is downward. And we know that a force working against the direction of motion causes a deceleration or a slowing down. On the other hand, we could look at this from the point of view of work, and we could ask how much work does the spring do in this case? Work for, done by the spring is defined as the force of the spring dotted into displacement, and we take the interval from the initial location to the final location. In this case, we're integrating over the displacement of the spring, or how much it compresses. If we recall that the force of a spring is minus kx, and then integrate that expression from initial xi to final xf, then this comes out to be 1 half kxi squared minus kxf squared. We notice that the work done by the spring can be positive or negative or zero. In fact, there are three cases. The work done by the spring, as given by this expression here, 1 half kx squared, kxi squared minus k, 1 half kxf squared, will be negative if the final x is greater in magnitude than the initial x, in other words, in absolute value. So if we compress a spring from an initial x location of zero, in other words, at its rest length, and compress it by one centimeter, that means xf in absolute value will be greater than xi, even though xf will be minus one centimeter. This results in work being less than zero. If xf in absolute value is less than xi, in this case, work will be greater than zero, looking at the expression above. And if the two are equal, xf equals xi, then the work will be equal to zero. But what exactly does it mean when the spring, the work done by the spring can be positive or negative? To interpret this, we have to go back to the work energy theorem. Let's think about the process of landing on our pogo stick. When we're landing, we're initially at some speed and we're heading toward the ground. We'll call this speed VI for V initial. When we've landed on the ground, we've stopped and our speed is V final, which is zero. The kinetic energy in this case is changing and delta K, the change in kinetic energy, equals K final minus K initial, or 1 half M V final squared minus M V initial squared. V final is zero, so when we compute delta K, it equals minus 1 half M V I squared. The work done by the spring will be 1 half K X I squared minus 1 half K X F squared. If the pogo stick is about to land, the, the spring is not especially compressed or, or extended, it's just that it's rest length, and so xi will be zero. When the spring compresses as, with, as the pogo stick hits the ground, a, xf will take on some non-zero value. So the work done by the spring will be minus one-half k xf squared. This is a case where the work done by the spring is less than zero. And notice, looking at the change in kinetic energy, it is also a case where the object we are slowing down. This is similar to previous examples where we found that a negative work results in a reduction in speed. So in order to have delta k equal work, then we can solve for how much the spring will compress. And we find that the final x, xf, equals minus square root of m over k, the mass of the object, us, divided by the spring constant, times vi. Notice that xf comes out to be a negative number, and that's because we are compressing the spring. Now let's talk about the process of taking off. Imagine a spring that's coiled up and compressed by some amount. 
and then the, because the pogo stick is on the ground. And now the spring lets go, and boing, we go up into the air at some speed. When, the, when we are on the ground, the spring is coiled up, and the value xi is not zero. But our initial speed is zero, because we're on the ground. The work done by the spring, as, it, as, the, as we jump up into the air, will be one-half k x i squared. And we write that because x f, the final x, will be zero. That's because once we're up in the air, the spring will be loose again. The change in kinetic energy will be one-half m v f squared. And that's because our initial speed, v i, is zero. If we equate these two by the work energy theorem, then we have an expression for the final velocity that vf is minus square root of k over m times xi. Notice since xi is initially a negative number because it's a compressed spring, vf is a positive number. And also notice that this is a case where the work done by the spring is positive and it's producing a case where we are speeding up. So again, when work is negative, an object will slow down. When work is positive, an object will speed up.